stand mixers are great for those heavy duty kitchen tasks, but for the little jobs, a hand mixer might do. Adam's here and he's gonna tell us all about them. These represent the happy medium in the mixing world, Bridget, between the stand mixers you said for the heavy duty work and doing everything manually with a whisk or a spatula. These are actually a great solution if you don't want to use the stand mixer or if you have a limited budget or a limited space in the right. kitchen. We have eight different models here. The price range was $20 up to $130. Oh, big difference. They all come with the standard beater attachments, which are fitted in there. A lot of them also come with these, either a whisk, one or two, or these little spiral shaped dough hooks. Hmm. And we tested these along with the beaters and spoiler alert, just keep them in the drawer. They're pretty worthless. Gotcha. <laughs> now, one of the tests was to make chocolate chip oatmeal cookie dough. Which and that you brought us, with you, right? Oh, we're having a major cookie fest after this. <laughs> that taught us a lot about the beaters themselves. One was we like them a little larger as opposed to a little smaller. You can see that these are pretty narrow. Almost like wire. This one has these posts that ran all the way through the beaters to the bottom. That caused some of them to get gummed up in the cookie dough and therefore mix a little less efficiently. Testers were much more impressed with wider, more spacious beaters. These were the best. These are two and a quarter inches wide, so they didn't get gummed up as easily. And even better, you can see that the bottom is lined with silicone, so you don't get that telltale clattering between the metal yeah. beaters and the mixing bowls. Boy, hand mixers have come a long way. Boy, have they come a long way. Now, there were other tests. One of them was whipping cream, which is something these are great at. And testers noticed something in both the cream whipping and when they were mixing the dry ingredients for the cookies, okay. that some of these mixers tended to spray either cream or dry ingredients around when you started them right. up, some didn't. So we pulled out the tachometer and we measured the revolutions per minute at every speed, that's RPMs. Mm -hmm. At the lower speeds, the RPM range was 230 to 740. And sure enough, it was the ones with those higher RPMs that were spreading cream and dry ingredients around when we started them up. The flip side of that was the RPMs at the higher speeds, which ranged from 860 to 1310. And the ones with the higher high speeds, the higher RPMs, those were actually more efficient at blending. They were, okay. did a much better job. In the end, it was this number here that is the hand mixer to beat. This is the Breville Handy Mix Scraper. It's a fantastic hand mixer. It was also the most expensive one here at $130, but we feel like you get what you pay for with okay. this one. It's got terrific features. It's got these silicone coated beaters that were nice and wide. Loving those. It's got a light <gasps> that light. shines into the mixing bowl. You know, sounds silly, kind of useful. It really helps. It's also got a built-in counter Ooh. that counts the elapsed time while you're mixing. And it's got a pause button too. Oh my goodness. Last thing, testers really appreciated this trigger style release. Pull it up, oh. the mixers come right out. Small thing, but actually it's a lot easier to get them out than pressing the buttons in the other ones. Oh my gosh, I think mine are permanently attached. <laughs> Stuck in with cookie dough? Cookie dough and eggs. This one was the best buy, because $130 is a lot of money for a hand mixer. This one is the Cuisinart Power Advantage Plus 9-speed hand mixer. It was $80. It's also a completely solid choice. It does a really good job, and you can save some money. Amazing. They've come a long way. They certainly have. Yeah. Thanks to Sir Mix-a-Lot here. You can go out and buy the winner. And that is the Breville Handy Mix Scraper. It retails for about $130. Or you can go for the Best Buy, and that's the Cuisinart Power Advantage Plus 9-speed hand mixer. And it retails for $80. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>